Good morning, this is Javon Perra. Today, let's talk about financial freedom or financial security, people trying to make money, make resources to do stuff. And I was reading this morning in one of David R. Hawkins' book, and it's called um, The Eye of the Eye, interesting book. And he was talking about how financial insecurity is really a matter of impatience like wanting what we want now instead of waiting for it and that makes sense because you could put money in uh, any kind of interest bearing return if you wait long enough it's going to end up being a lot of money but we don't want to wait a long time we want it right now I want my money right now so I can go buy my doodad and then life will be better if I had something that money could buy me. That's the, that's the idea behind it anyway. And I was re relating to that because I stress a lot of times with my work about the future, about, about lack. And that, that conversation of not having enough, I think it's common for a lot of people. There's not gonna be enough in the future. But that idea is, is the part that's not true. It's just not true. There's not going to be enough. Now, there might not be enough in this moment to get what you think you want, but how do you know you want that new car or you want that new house or you want that whatever it is that you want to buy that you can't buy right now? Well, the reason we know that is because we've just made it up. It's not like inherent. It's not inherent to my nature to need a new car. It's, it's because I've said, I need a new car because I said so. And it's really a, an ego structure that, that your ego, this made up version of yourself says, if I just had that thing out there, then I'd be happy. And we do that over and over again. So it comes back to, to being here in the moment. And financial freedom, most of what we want, especially if we're here in America, especially, I live in Southern California, it's like, geez, the rich of the rich uh, compared to the world. So what I really need for existence and survival is is uh, is pretty minimal and what I need to to uh, to be happy is even less I could literally be starving to death and be super happy and content you know like look at guys like Gandhi that didn't really eat lived only had a loincloth and that's it just walked around um, and he he was a happy, he was a peaceful, very peaceful man, of course. Now, it comes back to the simplicity. Well, what do we need? What 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 should we look for? That kind of thing. And Byron Katie said, all of life is just standing up, sitting down, or lying down. That's it. If you had a million dollars, well, you'd be somewhere standing up, sitting down, or lying down. You could be sitting down in a Bugatti, like a million dollar car. Or you could be sitting down in a Yugo, a used Yugo, <laughs> that you could buy for $200. You could be lying down in your bed in a $10 million house, or you can be lying down on the floor in your apartment that you rent that uh, you're sharing with other people because you can't even afford your own apartment. You could be walking around on the grounds of your property. You could be walking around uh, on the mall, in the mall, you know, and you can't buy anything in the mall. It's all the same stuff. And so what makes it happy one way and not happy another way? What makes one place wonderful and peaceful and the other place stressful for me? Well, it's all just my idea of what it is that we're doing, but we're always just standing up, sitting down, or laying down. So for you, since you're gonna be doing that right now, or the same exact thing, if you get everything that you think you want, can you find a level of peace and fulfillment right now where you're at, wherever you're standing, wherever you're sitting, or wherever you're, you're lying down? And, uh, and that's really the key, because if you can get that now, it'll give you a little more patience. Uh, financial security is, is a lot e easier to achieve if you don't need it, because that act of needing really creates this, this weird energy that makes it hard to get stuff. Uh, you're actually saying, you're, you're communicating out that you don't have it when you keep on repeating that, I need it, I want it, I need it, I want it. 
versus just being thankful for what you had. You want for nothing, and then you go for what that thing is that you desire, and then you let it go, and then it's easier to come. So, so today, standing up, sitting down, lying down, that's it. That's all of life. So see if you can enjoy where you're standing up, sitting down, or lying down <laughs> because it's not going to be that different once you get all the way to what you think you want. Something to consider.